Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, and in today's video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the pros and cons of electric cars. But before you start, make sure you subscribe to this channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so you never miss any updates. It is necessary to realise that electric cars evolve frequently and that their innovation continues to progress when considering the pros and cons of electric cars. An increasing number of car companies are producing electric cars. Electric cars are actually those that use a rechargeable battery motor instead of a regular fuel engine. There are certainly many important advantages to owning an electric car. Since they are much better for the environment, many customers are persuaded to switch to an electric car. Since totally electric vehicles do not use a tyre device, they actually have no discharge. Without pumping any kinds of fumes into the sky like gasoline engines do, electric cars can easily help to get cleaner skies and much less greenhouse gases. Electrical power is also more affordable than fuel. Electric cars typically cost a third of what petrol cars cost to run. Many electric vehicles also use regenerative braking to generate the electricity they need, which is completely free. Electric cars can be powered by environmentally friendly information such as solar, wind and sprinkler energy. The fuel on the other hand is developed from petroleum, which is an organic source, but certainly not environmentally friendly. For those who wish to continue to use this renewable resource, installing photovoltaic panels at home will help power the electric car in the garage. Without a petrol engine, electric cars do not need oil. This means you can say goodbye to oil changes. Plus, you won't have to do any of the other repairs and maintenance associated with a standard gasoline engine. According to Autotrader.com, electric cars are generally easier to brake and require far fewer brake replacements. Electric cars are incredibly quiet, especially when running entirely on electric battery power. In some cases, Legislators have considered requiring electric cars to be equipped with a public address system to allow pedestrians to understand what is going on. According to MyEV.com, the 2019 Jaguar I-PACE electric car includes engine sounds when the driver accelerates quickly to get the feel of a standard engine. Early electric car managers can easily get a credit note on their income tax return simply for having an automobile that is much better for the environment. You will need to know the fine print that constantly accompanies tax circumstances like this, but you can easily get up to $7,500 in credit under certain conditions for certain vehicles. Particular products and styles get different amounts of credit. If you're considering learning more about the type of credit you can get, you'll certainly find plenty of information on the internet. It is also to be expected that electric cars will soon be as cheap as internal combustion engine cars. Within two to three years, it is expected that an electric car will be on par with internal combustion engine cars, even without public funding. There are certainly some negatives to having an electric car. Filling up a fuel tank can take about 3 minutes at the petrol station, while recharging the battery of an electric car takes much longer. Depending on the version, an electric charge can easily take about 20 hours for a total charge. Newer and more expensive models can be recharged in as little as 4 hours. However, having a charging terminal in your garage helps to make this more feasible and kits are available to reduce the demand time. Although electric car manufacturers are using an increasing number of means to advance electric cars, they still have a shorter range than conventional vehicles. 
Normally, an electric car can easily travel between 60 and 100 kilometers on a total charge. Depending on the car's fuel performance and the size of its fuel tank, some traditional cars can easily travel around 400 kilometers on one tank of fuel. Fully electric models of some vehicles are actually still more expensive than their petrol counterparts. Essential electric models start at about $29,000, while top-of-the-line versions reach $100,000 and more. Normally a car buyer will certainly pay at least $10,000 more for an electric car than for the same type of automobile in a gasoline version. However, as innovation progresses, this cost gap will most likely narrow. Some regions have a considerable number of electric vehicle charge stations in many car parks and curbside locations. This is not really the case in all metropolitan areas. Traveling by electric car can be complicated. You can't take your ownership application with you when you drive. More and more kiosks are popping up around the country as more and more people drive electric cars, so this may not be an inconvenience for long. At present, an electric car uses about 20% less energy in the cold season. In winter, you may have less range than in summer. When an electric car burns out, it is much more difficult to switch it off. There are even cases where the battery can burn itself out. Finally, car manufacturers have had typical car styles for over 100 years. But electric vehicles, as our team currently understands it, only really started in the 1990s. Industry and politics are committed to the electric car. The future belongs to the electric car. Although other technologies, such as hydrogen and methanol, are interesting. With the development of solid-state batteries, many problems are being solved. It is expected that by 2025, the electric car will finally make its breakthrough. That's it for today's video, and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to give us your thoughts and comments in the comments section below. You can also suggest what topics we cover in future videos. Finally, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe. And if you want to see more videos like this one, press the bell button so that you'll be notified whenever I upload an interesting video to the channel. So, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.